So let's say that you're working on a video here on YouTube and you just can't quite get the split toning thing. Well, there's actually one really easy tip that the pro colorists use and they can definitely tell when you don't use it. And I'm gonna show you what that tool is inside this video. Roll that intro. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about color grading. Now, first off, let me just mention, I'm not a colorist, not someone who professionally color grades or anything like that. I have huge, huge respect for the people in the industry who are working behind the scenes and actually coloring film. These people will train for years to perfect their coloring techniques. This technique in particular though, is something that if a pro colorist is watching your work, they can immediately tell whether it's pro or amateur. And I've definitely been guilty of this before. This is something that I've absolutely done on some of my videos. I mean, I'm not a colorist, I'm an editor. And there's one technique that you can do immediately to start pumping up your color grades. And I'm gonna show you how to do that inside Premiere today. So let's go ahead and pull up the Lumetri panel here. And first off, inside Premiere, you've got Lumetri, you've got a bunch of really cool tools. Now there's one in particular that we're gonna be using today and it's Luma versus Saturation. So if we go to this curve here, we see that it's completely flat. But on the ends here, we have the highlights and the shadows. Whenever you do make a color grade, you wanna make sure that your colors aren't spilling into the shadows. For example, let me go ahead and show you inside this scene here. If I were to just color grade this right now, just go ahead and put a nice fresh coat of paint on this, we can see that it kind of looks a little off. It doesn't really look as pro as it did before. You want to know what that is? It's because we desaturated the highlights and the shadows. So if I were to desaturate the highlights and if I were to desaturate the shadows, we can immediately see we have a much more professional look. So back on that Lumetri panel, we see here on this flat line, in order to achieve this, what we wanna do is we wanna find our white point and our black point. So we wanna make sure when we're color grading, we wanna keep our whites absolutely white and we wanna keep our blacks absolutely black because we don't want color coming in and making white like a bluish tint or black like a reddish tint or something like that. So what we'll do on this line here is we'll grab our white point, which is right there, grab our black point, which which is right here, and then we'll just simply make a curve here on the ends. What it's gonna do is it's gonna pull that color cast from the whites and from the blacks. That way we have a nice even color grade across this whole image. So this is something that'll make all of your color grades way more pro and super quickly. But it's such a simple technique, you can immediately see the difference, your viewers are gonna see the difference, and they're gonna appreciate it as well. So next time you are color grading something, try this technique out. Subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post on, and until next time, that's a wrap.